a cleric in custody in New York after a standoff with police. The president's chief of staff apologizes for the White House travel office mess. And Washington, D.C., tourist attraction or free fire zone? This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Sitting in tonight is Brian Williams. Good evening. A blind Islamic cleric is in police custody in New York tonight. Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman became widely known after the World Trade Center bombing last February. His name came up again last week when investigators uncovered a terrorist plot to plant bombs at several New York locations and assassinate some prominent politicians. More now from NBC's John Miller. Sheikh Abdul Rahman surrendered to federal authorities at a New York mosque today. During a two-month undercover probe, the FBI learned that Sheikh Rahman allegedly had advanced knowledge of a plot by his followers to blow up the United Nations, the federal building, and bridges and tunnels in New York, along with the assassinations of pro-Israel politicians. The American people absolutely find it morally repugnant that the, the Sheikh be allowed to bounce around the alleged ringleader in that plot was the sheikh's interpreter. The informant who revealed the plot to the FBI was a former Egyptian colonel who had infiltrated the sheikh's inner circle and become one of his bodyguards. American While the sheikh is not charged in that case, his followers have been tied to the World Trade Center bombing, which killed six and injured a thousand, and the murder three years ago of militant Rabbi Meir Kahani in New York. After the Trade Center bombing, federal authorities sought to deport the sheikh for entering the U.S. under false pretenses. He has appealed that ruling, but now his immigration parole has been suspended. Federal authorities say he is a possible threat to society. Open up the door! The Sheikh's surrender did not come without a little game of cat and mouse. Last night, a man under a sheet was led out of this mosque by men who said, make way for the Sheikh. Authorities speculate it was a test devised by the Sheikh's followers to confirm reports that he was going to be taken into custody. If this didn't confirm it, nothing would. The Sheikh will be held by immigration authorities till a federal court rules on his appeal. In the meantime, prosecutors and the Department of Justice are still reviewing tapes and transcripts and evidence gathered in their investigations to see if the Sheikh may be charged in one of the conspiracies. John Miller, NBC News, New York.